kids that you just see his face and a smile and he can light up the room. More heartbreak tonight in Gardendale, where the community is mourning the loss of a third grader. Eight year old Kylan Anderson passing away yesterday after complications of a form of arthritis that affects children. Tonight, only on CBS 42, Kylan's mother sitting down with our Hillary Simon, telling you, Hillary, how much she'll miss hearing her son's voice. Jack, she said just that. It's been a long three months for them. Kylan's mother tells me they've been in the hospital since early November fighting this disease that took his life last night. Now, the Gardendale Elementary community is coming together to make sure his memory lives on. He is a funny, sweet, happy child. He's really amazing and he touched the hearts of many. Eight year old Kylan Anderson is leaving a mark on his family and his school. Just an infectious smile. Um, our motto is kindness is contagious, awesomeness is a choice, and he was both kind and awesome. Kylan has been out of school for months, fighting a rare disease that stemmed from his juvenile idiopathic arthritis and caused many more complications. But his mom says school was his favorite thing, and she can tell he has been and will be missed. It's just amazing to have so much support, especially from kids during this hard time, so that lets me know that um, my baby meant a lot to them. I can tell you that this is the most difficult thing a principal has to go through. Um, this is the second student that I've lost as a school principal. And with, with prayers and surrounding yourself with people in our school and in our community to support the families and to support our students, um, it just takes a lot of people working together um, to honor the young man that we lost. Brianna says he's been in the ICU the majority of the time. She's barely gone to work, just standing by her son's side. She says she'll miss everything about her boy. I think the thing I miss the most is just hearing him talk to me every day, just hearing his voice. So his voice and just a smile. His smile will light up a room. She says she's keeping that smile in her memory forever and continues to be amazed by all the support. It helps. It makes everything better to know that we have people standing behind us, kids standing behind us, people that love my baby. It helps even when it hurts. Now, students and teachers are planning to wear red and blue tomorrow since those were Kylan's favorite colors. If you would like to help out the family, there is a GoFundMe page. We have that link on our website, CBS42.com. Hillary Simon, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tough all the way around. Hillary, thanks.